What's up everyone? Welcome to a new video and also welcome to the new studio. So I'm pretty excited because I just bought my very first house and I'm like mind blown. I am so stoked because now I finally have a dedicated room for my YouTube stuff and work. And I did some behind the scenes stuff on a vlog. If you guys haven't seen it, it'll be linked below, but I painted my wall and I put my new logo on there. So this place is sick and I'm really excited. And this kind of got me thinking, I need a way to create motion in my shot because most of the time I'm shooting locked off tripod or handheld. So in today's video, I'm gonna show you how to do this. This is dynamic motion when you are shooting everything on a tripod. It is so simple and it's pretty exciting. We're gonna jump into a bunch of stuff because this is gonna be great for B-roll. If you have a secondary camera shooting something, it will look like someone is helping you shoot this B-roll and it will up the production value of your shots. I'm also gonna show you some complex stuff, not really complex, but using a slider that Edelchrome sent me out. This way you can get some really unique shots. So I'm pretty stoked for today's video, but let's jump on into what it looks like. Everything you're about to see is shot either on a slider or on a tripod. So this is the slider shot with no motion added. It's pretty cool, but it's not dynamic enough. I just kind of want it to look like someone else is shooting. So that's what this looks like. Whenever you add that motion to your clips, it honestly makes it seem like someone else is there shooting. And if you have a motorized slider, it, uh, it just looks so good. And I'm really excited to show you guys how to do it. So let's head on upstairs and jump on in Premiere and show you how to do this effect. Now we're upstairs. So this right here is going to be our control clip. All you have to do is use a clip that you shot on a tripod or a motorized slider if you have one. It's pretty simple, self-explanatory, easy, right? And then the next step is to record something handheld. So that can look like this. Just pick something in your house, keep the camera there and record. So typically I record for about a minute and I like to sway back and forth and move the camera up and down just a tiny bit to get a little more motion because my camera has built in stabilization. Now you can play around with this and get a little more motion if you'd like, but you'll get varying results. So it should be noted that that handheld clip should actually be a little bit longer or the length of the clip you want to add the motion to. That's why I always record a little bit extra. Now, we're gonna use the data from that clip using Warp Stabilizer in Premiere Pro. So let's head on into Premiere and show you how to do this. So now we're in Premiere Pro and we have our tripod locked off shot first and the second shot is the handheld shot that we did. Now what you're gonna to wanna to do in order to create this effect is drag that handheld shot on top of your tripod shot and also trim up the edges so it matches the length of your clip. Then all I have to do is highlight both of them by clicking and dragging, right click and select nest. Now click okay. Once you select nest, all you have to do is go to the effects tab and type in warp. And you're gonna drag on warp stabilizer onto that nested clip. Let Premiere do its magic and just wait for warp stabilizer to complete. While we're waiting for that to finish, use this time to click that like button and let me know what you think down below because it seriously helps out the channel. And once it's finished stabilizing, you can see that the clip is fairly smooth. The next step is to double click on the nested sequence and the second video layer, which is the video layer of our handheld shot. All you have to do is click the little eyedropper and hide that track. Now, if we go back out to our main timeline, you'll see that if we play this back, we instantly have that dynamic handheld motion. Incredible. Now, keep in mind, you can play around with the smoothness and everything else to get a different effect. Cool. Well, I really hope you guys enjoyed today's video and it was awesome. It's the first tutorial in my new house. So let me know what you guys think down below. If you have any ideas for future tutorials, write them and hit that like button. And if you're new here, consider subscribing because I'm going to be making some more stuff in the future. And as always, I'll see you guys next time.